page clay trader and this will be the review of the bull charts that were sent out to my um, bull market newsletter um, subscriber group on September 8th so this is the time period where they were went out over uh, this past Labor Day weekend uh, so I want to go through um, the five bullish charts um, go over what the setups were and then show um, what happened this week I will say that this was probably our, our best week um, as a as a newsletter we're not that old about a month and a half old but out of all the bull charts I think this collectively was probably uh, the best uh, week we've had so um, we'll ju jump into the action here but as you can see this is what uh, the bull market newsletter looks like if you look in the post you can see a link uh, to get to this page if you want our focus chart for the week was SGDH uh, as you can see right here and this um, was what we talked about as our trend trading play and I'll get to that later um, but before we broke down the charts we uh, pointed out SGDH as one that we really thought subscribers to should uh, pay attention to so you go down and then here in this section of the newsletter um, we have the five different chart plays that are a part of the newsletter um, and then with each one you have an explanation of what that is so we have pattern plays bottom bouncer plays trend trading plays volume alert plays and breakout pending plays meaning that you find a resistance and if it breaks above that that would be considered a breakout so once again um, these were the five charts that we had for our Labor Day weekend MEA MMR SGDH IVAN and DPDR and this sucker was a monster um, but we'll get to that later so let's just um, go through the charts keep in mind this is what they look like when we send them out so as you can see um, if you look closely here I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it but um, this right here says Friday September 4th which was um, when it, the market closed and that's uh, these are what the charts look like when we sent them out so our first um, play here was MMEA which was a ascending triangle pattern meaning it was sloping upwards and we had this resistance um, so this is what the chart looked like and this was our pending breakout point here so let's bring up MEA and once again here it is we had our resistance point up here at 442 so this was Tuesday got above it did some consolidation and then here finally pulled away so from 442 today it hit a high of um, 467 so if you play that perfectly and this is so far I mean this will probably continue up next week um, but this was about a 5.7 percent gain so in four days not too bad especially when you can't even go to a bank and get a uh, CD for you know five percent over six months so about 5.7 and a little uh, under a week four days not too bad now let's talk about MMR this was our bottom bouncer play and what we pointed out was that it had a history of bouncing off these levels here here it was our resistance resistance again it became support here and then support again and we said it looks like it's bouncing so that's why we picked this for our bottom bouncer play because it was bouncing off of this support so now if we go and see what happened with MMR let me bring up that chart you can see that this is what it looked like when we notified it and then this week you can see it really took off so it closed um, down here and um, with this move accounting this was a possible 12.4 percent gain and once again about four days so uh, not too bad 12.4 uh, percent and once again these are highly liquid stocks so you could easily uh, put in you know a thousand five thousand ten thousand if you're a bigger player you know fifty thousand dollars whatever and you would have had no problem selling your shares because there is a lot of liquidity in these ones so now we're on to our focus chart SGDH uh, this one was chosen as our trend trading play because as you can see there was a nice uptrend there uh, there had been some volume that was picking up we saw that it was consolidating here a little bit so we alerted it at 0.62 so let's see what happened with SGDH over the course of a few days uh, once again you can see we alerted it here and then from there on up it went all the way up to a high of 87 or 85 cents which was a potential gain of 37 percent in a very short amount of time here we had a very highly liquid day so people had plenty of opportunity to sell up here for some nice profits so here was a good trend trading play and once again like I said this was our focus chart which profited our members 37 percent if they had played it 
Here we have Ivan, I-V-A-N. This was our volume alert play, meaning we look for volume that is way above average. And as is pointed out, this volume bar was way above anything that could be seen. Uh, so this is what the chart looked like when we pointed it out. We gave um, a possible entry of a dollar, about 55, 56 for the pullback people, because you know, depending on what your strategy is, I know others just want to get in on these sorts of plays. Um, so we wanted to give a couple different um, viewpoints. So first disclaimer here: if you had waited for a pullback, uh, you would have not gotten into this play. Um, but if you were somebody that just wanted to get in regardless, let's see what happened here. I V A N. You can see this is what the chart looked like. So if you decided just to hop in on this volume alert, which suggests that maybe something's getting ready to happen to push it further, uh, you see the results here. Um, very nice gain. Went up and hit a high of $2.07, which gives a possible 21.8% gain. So once again, not too bad. Highly liquid stock, so you could have thrown a nice chunk of change in here and made a nice little percentage. And finally, the one that really kind of you know, I'm not going to sit here and say I knew this was going to happen. This totally took me by surprise. But this was our breakout pending, meaning we had a pattern here, symmetrical triangle. This was a resistance line. And then this was, you know, if it broke out here, like it was looking like it had a chance because of these green bars here. There was some volume picking up. We said, all right, if it breaks you this point, then that'll be your entry. So if you kind of draw all over, really it would, the breakout point would have been less than $2, but for argument's sake, we'll just say the breakout point was $2. And now we'll take a look and see what happened here. Bring up DPDR. So it was right here. Right here it made its big move. And there it is. Literally over 100%. Today it hit uh, 404 and um, I should say right now the market's still open, um, but hit 404, so literally over 100%, uh, to be exact, 102% in a matter of four days. Uh, is this the norm? No, it's not. So don't sit here and get the impression that oh, we, this happens every single week. No, um, but hey, I mean, it shows that it can happen when you use the power of charts. I don't know if this is a short squeeze. I don't know if they had good news. I don't care. All I know is that the chart had a nice little pattern, put it on breakout alert, and the breakout definitely followed through. Um, so that uh, wraps up the five we had. If I look and kind of try to count it up, we had about 160% worth of gains this week with our five charts, so it was definitely a good one. Um, if you are interested, all you have to do is come to bullmarketnewsletter.net and sign up for um, this alert, and this will be one of the sorts of emails you get. We try to send them out about once a week. Um, and you know when you sign up for the newsletter, you also get a free ebook, so it's worth checking out. So if you're not on the list, it's all free. I uh, hope you decide to give it a try um, and uh, be a part of these bull charts and the trading ideas and so forth uh, that we give. And uh, as can be seen, people have been making good money if you um, follow the, the plays that we've been watching. Have a good weekend.